Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nick the Knit. Welcome back to the channel. Sadly, we didn't win last week's tournament, but we did make it to the final table. Hopefully we can go one step further this week and get into the top three. On tonight's vid, we use our spidey sensors. And we get it all in versus pocket twos. So if you're enjoying the action, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. That's enough from me, so let's jump right into the action. The first hand of tonight's video, I get Del Ace 5 suited under the gun. We'll go 500. I bet 500 or 2.5 times the big blind. I always find it hard to know what bet size to use when a table is first starting out. As each week on each table, it takes a different bet size to thin the herd. Some weeks, a bet of five times the big blind would see four or five people call. And other weeks, a bet of three times would see everyone fold. When I'm first starting out at a new table, I like to experiment a bit. So I generally start off with 2.5 times the big blind. If I get like four callers, next time I'll make my bet size a little bit bigger. On this occasion, it seems like 2.5 times the big blind is the going rate because we only get calls from the small blind and big blind, meaning we're in position post flop. After the flop gives me bottom pier, I feel like there's a decent chance I'm ahead. Both players check to me, so I decide to raise for protection. I'm trying to protect against hands like King Jack, King Queen that would really benefit from seeing a free card. Both players call and we get a repeat nine on the turn. This makes me feel even more confident that I'm ahead because it's less likely that one of the players has got a nine. When both players check to me, I bet for protection, but I'm also trying to get some thin value from hands like four, five suited or ace three. After the player in the small blind check calls for the second time, my spidey sensors start tingling. So I make the decision that I'm going to check back most rivers. Check. Check. We got over there, right? It feels great when you're able to say exactly what your opponent has. And generally I like to guess what the players got out loud whilst also revealing my cards because they're more inclined to share with you what they had. For the next interesting hand of the night, we get dealt King-10 suited in the cutoff. Under the gun plus two and low jack both go for the limp. So we decide to race the 2,200. One of the limpers folds and the other one calls and the flop gives us almost nothing, but we do have two overs, a backdoor flush, a backdoor straight draw and a story where we've been telling everybody that we've got a good hand. So I'm going to continue to tell that story by having a bet. Although there was a small chance that my hand was actually ahead, due to only having a pot size bet behind, it feels great getting the fold here. The blinds are now 500 and 1000 and we have around 9000 in our stack. That's less than 10 big blinds so we're already at that stage of the night where we're open shoving most of our range. Although ace 9 off is at the very bottom of that range, I'll be in the big blind soon and it's not long before the blinds go up so I choose to go with a shove here in hopes that I can get it through. Wow. Absolute Despite being called an absolute shithouse, we managed to get the shove through, meaning we've now got around 11k. It's a few hands later and we're in the big blind with one limper from middle position. The small blind calls as well, but interestingly he's only got about 3.5k left behind, so I'm not sure exactly what to do when I look down and I see that I've got King Jack suited. I think about it for a bit, but as I do have enough chips to get them to fold some of their raggy aces, I choose to go all in. The initial limper folds and the player in his small blind calls for the remainder of his chips. So let's go to the vid and see if we need to drill it or dodge it. Despite losing that last hand, we once again make the final table, but we've only got 7k in chips. The blinds are now 1k, 2k, and although I'm in a bad position under the gun, a 7 suited is an easy shove with only 3.5 big blinds. Under the gun plus 1 and plus 2 both fold, and the player in the low jack calls for 2k, clearly not seeing that I had already shoved. After realising his mistake, the player calls my 7k. The fact that he thought he was calling 2k and not 7k gives me some hope. So let's go to the vid and see if we need to drill it or dodge it. Hold up a damn second. How many people shot for a free there? Three. I can hear all these three haters. Three. And the player that I'm all in against in even one of them. Three. <laughs> <laughs> 
No free for you. Yep. Cheers, boys. Thanks for the support. This guy's calling for the free. <laughs> Despite what seemed like the whole pub coming over to try and get me out, we managed to feed all of his outs, meaning we've now got 17k and our chances are looking up. Although it looks like we've moved seats, we actually haven't. We've just moved around a bit because we needed a new dealer. We missed the pre-flop action here, but the blinds were 2k, 4k. It folded to me on the button, and after seeing the small blind only had 4k, I chose to shove. Sadly for me, the big blind called my 14k shove with king 8 suited. So let's go to the vid and see if we can drill a queen or a jack. That's what you can win, Nobby. Oh, and that's for everyone else, yeah. Two pay, Nobby. Yeah. Oh, three! They're at it again! Oh, three! Three! Jack or a queen. So we managed to scrape through onto another final table, but sadly we couldn't get enough chips together in order to take it down. I'm happy that we managed to even make it that far because at one point I thought we was going to be out really early on. Now this was going to be a bit of a shorter video due to there not being too many interesting spots tonight, but a few of you have been asking what I mean when I say the names of different poker positions, such as the low jack, the high jack and the cutoff. So I wanted to take some time just to touch on them. Now I'm not going to go into depth about the different kind of hands you should play from each position, but I do want to make sure that when I say positions such as the cutoff, that you know where they are at the poker table in relation to me. I feel that your positioning on a poker table can be super important and that's why it's one of the first pieces of poker theory that everybody learns about. So if we picture a nine player poker table it can be split up into three sections. Each section will have three people in it. You've got the early section, the mid section and you guessed it, the late section. Many people including myself feel like it can be really hard to play from the early section. Here you've got the small blind, the big blind and under the gun. Then we've got the middle section with amazingly creative names, under the gun plus one, under the gun plus two, and the low jack. Then finally we've got the fun zone or the late section. Here we've got the hijack, the cutoff, and the button. I say it's a fun zone because you get to play many more parts from here. If it falls all the way around to you in the cutoff and you've got ace five offsuit or pocket fives, you can happily open them. Whereas if you was in an earlier position, you would likely have had to fold. Now obviously there's many other factors, it's not just about your positioning, but it's fair to say that tight is generally right from the earlier positions. This is mostly due to the fact that post flop you're going to be out of position if you played a hand from the small blind and anybody that acts after you gets to see exactly what you just did. So the next time you look down you've got queen jack off or six seven suited. Have a think about what position you're in. If you're in early position most of the time you just want to bin it but if you're in late position you might want to have a bit of fun. And that ladies and gents is the video done and done. If there's a part of poker that you would like some tips on or like me to cover in a later vid please leave a comment or just hit me up. Anyways good luck on the felt and I'll see you on the next one.